Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, uh, April 11th. Um, I just got, just flew back in yesterday from visiting my mom and family in New Jersey. And we had, at, while I was in New Jersey, I ordered an Amazon Prime order, like grocery order to be delivered this morning because I wanted to just get this out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys. Let me move this, this is actually came from New Jersey. What we got, I will let you know, I have a little helper. Hi. <laughs> so he helped me unpack everything. So it is in no order whatsoever. I moved them back there. Um, but I figured I'd share and then maybe later I can share a little bit of the meal prep I'm gonna do today just to have myself set up for the week. So you wanna help by showing everything we got? Okay, hold on one second. So what's that? Beans. What kind of beans? Black beans. Black beans. 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 This part hurt. It's to my hand and you part. Oh, goodness. Okay. And then we've got, I got three, three pounds of ground beef. I wanted the 90-10, but they didn't have, it was out of stock. So I got 85-15. I got three of those. I usually buy, hold on baby. I usually buy ground, leave it over there. I usually buy ground beef at Costco, but for some reason our Costco hasn't had it for a while. So I got three of those. I got a ground turkey. This is for some meal prep for me. And then I just got sandwich meat. So I've got honey smoked turkey breast, black forest ham, and some uncured hard salami. I got hearts of romaine. I got a cucumber. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's not what you think it is. I got a cucumber. I got some blueberries because somebody loves blueberries. What else? I got some Annie's Cheddar Bunnies, and these are nut thins. They're made with almond flour, and they're my favorite crackers, and he also loves them. Got some of this uh, pink salmon. The like the, It's supposed to be like canned. They didn't have the cans. They were out of stock, so I got these little packets. My mom made me some salmon cakes while we were in New Jersey and they were super good. So I'm gonna try to recreate them. So I got four of those. I got some sliced black olives. That's for a meal prep dish. Also the Southwest corn is for a meal prep dish. I got two things of pasta. We have um, thin spaghetti and linguine. So I just got some rotini pasta and some penne pasta. I got um, these Atkins snack bars. These are the caramel chocolate nut rolls. These taste very similar to Snickers and um, they only have two grams of sugar, three net carbs and seven grams of protein. So so um, I eat these sometimes just as a snack. I also got these treat ones, which are like a mound or an almond joy. They don't have almonds though. Um, the chocolate coconut bars, I'll have these sometimes too. They have one gram of sugar, two net carbs. I got some more almond flour. I got some gardenera, gardenera. I don't know how to say it, but um, my mom had this. She has a big jar and she had me try it and I really like it. It's kind of like just pickled vegetables. They're really good. I got some chocolate rice cake, rice cakes. I like to have these with peanut butter and banana as a snack. Got one yellow onion, three things of um, pizza sauce. They only had the ragu kind. Um, I use pizza sauce in my pasta because it's not chunky and my husband doesn't like chunks. I got three sweet potatoes, cherry tomatoes, which are Vincent's favorite. I got two things of green beans, one thing of peas. We still have vegetables in the freezer, but I just wanted to get a few other things. Got some mild Italian sausage, a green pepper, a very tiny zucchini. I only ordered one because usually they give me big ones, but this time they gave me a very tiny zucchini. Got a dozen eggs. I got some of the Stacy's Simply Naked pita chips. We also got the Bunny Grams, the Friends, which has the mix of the chocolate chip, the chocolate, and the honey. I got some of this for a meal prep as well. It's the cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. I got some green grapes, some halo oranges, Roasted red pepper hummus, my favorite. I got um, Cracker Barrel, this is provolone. Provolone cheese. I also got the Sargento Munster cheese and slices. I got, oh, there's another bag of peas, some bananas. There's my nut pens, I got two boxes of those. The 
Annie's that he showed earlier. Another thing of cherry tomatoes, um, black cherry lime crystal light. This is my favorite. A red pepper. And then I found these little, um, they're called rocket apples. It says it's a new kind of apple. They're tiny, but I figured they'd be perfect for Vinny. Um, we usually buy the ones at Costco that come in like a Mickey Mouse bag. I can't remember what they are, but they're pretty small, but these are even smaller. So I thought these were, they were cute. So I tried those out. So that is my whole grocery haul. Um, I still do need a few things. My husband needs his Mio water enhancer. Let me show you. He drinks like these. He needs one of those. They were out of stock on Amazon. I also do need to get cream cheese because I was gonna get it, but it was out of stock. But other than that, this is everything. We have chicken. We have chicken in the freezer already that we bought at Costco last week. And we have vegetables, we have rice, you know, just like the staple things. I just needed a few things just to kind of hold this over. So that is my grocery haul. And maybe later um, while I am prepping things and just getting things washed up and everything, I will go ahead and share that with you guys. Here we go with food prep. This is kind of how I just prep everything after groceries. So um, in this bowl, there was <laughs> warm water and some vinegar. I let the apples soak in there because they are a pretty dirty fruit. So I let them soak there for quite a while. And then I will put them out on a paper towel to dry. And I will switch over to my strainer with tomatoes, let those sit a little bit, and then pull them out. And I just return them back into the clear packages that they came in, but I cut the lids off or take the lids off so that the kids can easily grab them to um, eat during the week. That's my big thing is just ease of snacking on and things so that we are not being wasteful with our food. Next is the blueberries. I let them soak in the vinegar water as well and I store our berries in a mason jar so that they are easy again for the kids to grab and eat and also I like the aesthetic and it's easier for me to store them in the fridge. So the grapes have been soaking for a little bit and now I am gonna get to the tedious task of cutting them. I am one of those crazy moms that does not allow my kids to eat whole grapes. Um, the teenager and preteen obviously can, but my three-year-old, uh, that definitely scares me. Just the risk of them choking is so high. So I do take my kitchen shears and cut all the grapes in half and I store them in mason jars again. But this way the kids are able to just open up a mason jar and take some for a snack or to put with their lunch or anything ah. like that. Okay, now it is a little bit later in the evening and I am going to make my mason jar taco salads. So I have ground turkey, garlic powder, oregano, adobo, cumin, chili powder, sesame paprika, onion powder, and basil. Usually I would use like a taco seasoning, but I didn't have one and I didn't have all the stuff to make one. So I'm just using what I can to just make this taste taco-y and good. So I am gonna brown up this ground turkey in the pan and once it's browned here are the other ingredients you'll need so you'll need to rinse and drain some black beans i have some sliced black olives tomatoes this southwest corn mix it has like peppers in it this cilantro avocado yogurt dressing which is delicious and then some romaine lettuce so here is how i assemble the salads so i start by putting in the serving size of dressing 
I used two tablespoons of this Bolt House yogurt dressing and I put that down at the bottom. And then I will put in my ground turkey, followed by my beans, then my corn, then my olives, then my tomatoes, and last is your lettuce. And I did top mine with a little tiny bit of cheddar cheese just for a little oomph. And I do not eat this whole salad. I did just have VSG um, bariatric surgery, so my stomach is still too small to eat a whole salad. I will usually share it with my three-year-old or my 12-year-old if he wants some but I just like making them in the jar because it is so much easier to prep and store little mason jars, especially in a refrigerator for a big family, than it is to have the bowls, at least in my opinion. And here's what the cute little salads look like. I think they look so cute and they are delicious and easy to make. So now I'm kind of giving you a tour of the refrigerator so you can see all the food prep stuff in there. Okay guys, editing Delise here. I did film a closing to that video, but I realized I had something in my teeth and I wanted to just spare you guys. Um, <laughs> so um, I just wanted to close out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching my impromptu Amazon grocery haul and food prep for the weekend. And um, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you hit that thumbs up button. Um, and I just would like to know in the comments down below, have you guys tried Amazon um, grocery delivery? How do you feel about it? Do you find a, do you have like a different grocery delivery that you would recommend that you feel is better? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. The salads are delicious. In case you're wondering, I am on day two of eating them. They are delicious. So I am going to go ahead and tag this on to the end of that video. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I'm trying to revive this channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.